reside in Russia, includes information on how to vote overseas, have a document legalized, obtain health care and more. In Russia, daily life can be very difficult. A lot of the cities have significant pollution levels and a severe environment. Additionally, there is a substantial amount of criminality. Have you ever been to Russia? Or interested in moving to Russia? If so, then this video is for you. So watch till the end. On the occasion of Michael Romanov's coronation, as the first Tsar of the Romanov dynasty in 1613, Russia escaped from the time of troubles. Following the Soviet Union's breakup in December 1991, Russia, once the leading republic of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR, sometimes known as the Soviet Union, gained independence. Superlatives abound in Russia. For almost 300 years, Kavian Rus was the first Russian state. It was a union of principalities that the Rurik family headed. The fragmentation of Kavian Rus's politics was caused by the growth of feudal relationships and the bolstering of local city independence. Finally, parts of the former Kavian Rus's lands began using the Byzantine-influenced name for Rus. Russia, in the 15th century, when the rulers of the Grand Duchy of Moscow unified, giving rise to the contemporary name for Russia. The nation has fought in countless conflicts since its founding. The Russo-Circassian War was the longest conflict that both Russia and Circassia have ever experienced. The Circassians fought the Russians for longer than any other Circassian people. In the crucial military struggle known as the Russo-Turkish War, which lasted from 1768 to 1774, Russian forces generally defeated the Ottoman Empire. Following Russia's triumph, Crimea, the Yedison region between the Bug and Dnieper rivers, and parts of Moldavia came under Russian rule. Did you know, one of the biggest militaries in the world is that of Russia? With nearly 830,000 soldiers now on active duty, it ranks fifth behind China, India, the United States, and North Korea. Russian, temporarily extending to the USSR, has had two capital cities from the early modern era, Moscow and Petersburg. The first capital was Moscow, which was replaced by Petersburg at the start of the 18th century. Vladimir Putin is the country's current president, Moscow is its city, and the Russian ruble is its official currency. In total, more than 193 different ethnic groups called Russia home. Approximately 81% of the population in 2021 was of ethnic Russian descent and 19% of people were members of other races. As of Saturday, May 13, 2023, the Russian Federation's population is 140 million. One of the most beautiful nations in the world, Russia in the former Soviet Union includes amazing mountains, beaches, deserts, ethnic communities, stunning volcanoes, and glaciers. Russia is well known for its matryoshka, dolls, and harsh environment. The Russian Empire and the Soviet Union are two significant historical figures in the nation. The northern Russian country of Karelia is renowned for its stunning scenery, which includes lakes and forests. The deepest, biggest, and oldest freshwater lake in the world is Lake Baikal, which is located in Siberia. Volcanoes, geysers, and hot springs in Kamchatka's wild landscape inspire. Use organic skincare products such as chamomile, sea buckthorn oil, and honey. To increase circulation and support healthy skin, use cold showers. For healthy skin, sip on herbal teas and remain hydrated. Regularly moisturize, especially during the chilly winter months. Isn't that interesting? Watch this video till the end to know more interesting and amazing things. In theory, Russia is a multi-party representative democracy, with the president serving as the head of state and prime minister as the head of government. Russia is a federal republic. The supreme commander-in-chief of the Russian Federation's armed forces is also the president. Russia has a variety of climates, from steppes in the south to humid continental across much of Europe, subarctic in Siberia, and tundra in the polar north. Winters can be mild at the Black Sea coast or bitterly cold in Siberia. Steppe summers can be warm or cool along the Arctic shore. The majority of the nation experiences long, cold winters and short summers due to its continental climate. The summer and winter temperatures vary widely, and the amount of precipitation is often modest. On the Black Sea's southeast coast in January, the temperature typically hovers around 6 degrees Celsius, which is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Many government leaders in Russia, which has a market-based economy with significant governmental involvement, are immensely affluent. The ruble is used as currency in Russia. Russia's economy is weakening. The Russian economy had a difficult year in 2022. According to the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, 
and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development (OECD). Russia's gross domestic product is predicted to decline by 2.1% in 2022. The 5,700-kilometer-long Trans-Siberian Railway runs from Moscow to Vladivostok. The Trans-Siberian Railway makes it simple to take your time and train travel throughout Russia. Depending on your financial situation and desired experience, you can choose to travel in first or third class. If you want to travel to China and Mongolia as well, the Trans-Siberian Railway has also connections to those nations. Superstitions are prevalent among Russians. The prevalence of superstitions and customs among Russians in general is another fascinating aspect of the country. Giving flowers solely in odd numbers is one of the most widely practiced customs. Many Russians think that an even quantity of flowers is only appropriate for graveyards. A Russian may take it personally if you give them an odd amount of flowers. The Russians also think that you shouldn't give an odd amount of flowers and wear your clothes backwards. The Russians think that if you wear your garments backwards, you'll be physically punished. If you enjoy reading, you undoubtedly already know that some of the best and most renowned authors come from Russia. Alexander Pushkin, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, Ivan Turgenev, and Vladimir Nabokov are a few of the best Russian writers. Fyodor Dostoevsky, Crime and Punishment, Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace, and Anton Chekhov, a renowned dramatist best known for The Seagull, are three other well-known Russian authors you may also be familiar with. The history of the country, its location and size, its religious and social traditions, and both Eastern and Western influences have all contributed to the development of Russian culture. Russia has a tremendously vivid cultural history, from its colorful folk clothing to its intricate religious symbols, despite the impression that the nation is dull from the outside. Folk dancing has a significant role in Russian history and culture. One of the most popular styles of Russian folk dancing is Kurovod. In this type of dance, participants hold hands and move in a circle. Folk dances are performed by Russians at events, markets, and theaters. Attend a Russian folk dance performance if you ever have the chance to visit Russia to learn more about the country's culture and traditions. There are 12 active volcanoes in Russia, which is perhaps one of the most unexpected facts about it. Due to its convenient position, Kamchatka is one of those volcanoes that is most frequently visited. If you enjoy the outdoors and stunning scenery, you should travel to Kamchatka. There are more than 1,000 different plant species on this active volcano. Brown bears, lambs, and wolves also live there. Given how enormous Russia is, it should come as no surprise that this amazing nation is home to a variety of habitants and animals. Many uncommon creatures, including Asiatic black bears, snow leopards, polar bears, and small rabbit-like mammals known as pikas, can be found in its woods, steppes, and tundras. Tell us in the comment section below if you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Have a good day.